All right, hello, and welcome to this video about um, the Pilgrim site uh, in Deer Park and what development of this site, what we, what we stand to lose, because I basically, I'm going to show you what we stand to lose, because I was on the site last week, and uh, I wanted, I, I didn't take a video, but I have pictures to show you what we stand to lose. So, let's go here and look at the satellite here, We're starting out on Google Maps, which unfortunately uh, no longer works properly with Google Chrome, which is my browser, so now I have to use Internet Explorer. We, I don't know what the heck happened, but if you use Google Maps and Chrome updated and it's acting very slow, then you're not alone because I'm having the same problem. Uh, anyway, so this is the Edgewood Preserve over here, and this is the Deer Park Railroad Station, and this over here is the Pilgrim site. And you can see, except for some buildings, it's mostly open space, uh, and a lot of it is Pine Barrens. Um, unfortunately, um, there are plans for development, huge plans for development in this area. And we stand to lose a lot. So I'm going to zoom in a little more here. And there's there's also this area here, which is also a very nice area, which I, I do not think is part of the Edgewood Preserve. And I'm very concerned about development of this area, too. So I'm going to show you some pictures from this area, too, as well. Uh, but this is the Pilgrim site here. And they pretty much want to develop most of this area here that you see here. Uh, and it's either grasslands or it's pine barrens in here, all right? And you can see that such a huge development that they have planned, which is pretty much like a mini city, is going to have a huge impact on the environment in the area. And we've lost a lot of pine barrens on Long Island as it is, and we haven't done a really good job at preserving the pine barrens, and we are going to lose a lot more, which is why I am opposed to this project. And so is the Long Island Pine Barrens Society. They are opposed to it as well. Uh, and so let's now take a look at some of the diagrams from this project here. Find it. Here we go. Heartland Town Square. So I want to show you, before we get to the pictures, I want to show you what they plan to put here. All right. You can see this is the, the site, and this is, what, this is all they want to develop right here. You can see there's a lot of pine barrens over here, over here, um, over here as well, and also some grasslands. All right, so it's a 452-acre site. They want to have 60 structures structures on the 452 acres. Building heights range from one to ten. Uh, all right, and they want to talk about all the development units here, the gateway area. I've gone over this before a lot. All right, um, so. What they plan on doing here, you see they're going to fill all this up with buildings. Some of these pine barrens will be left alone on that side. That's one. That's the sub part that's already been approved, but they're trying to stop it now. And you see, that's the water tower. Keep that water tower in mind. Keep that water tower in mind. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Um, that's part of the old site. So you can see here, they just want to pretty much build a mini city here. And this is being proposed by the person who owns Heartland Industrial Park. Um, so you can see here, this is the east side here that they want to put, all right? And there's Pine Barrens on the east side, too. So literally, they're building a mini city in the Pine Barrens, all right? In whatever, this is the largest area of undeveloped land in western Suffolk, all right? So let's go ahead now and look at put this back over here yeah put that right there let's now go ahead and what it looks like now what we're gonna lose if this project goes forward because we're gonna lose some really amazing scenery so let's now take a look at that scenery we're first gonna start off with uh, across from the um, train station that little area that I showed you on the map this little area right here Let's take a look at this area so for a minute. So this is the first area we're looking at here. I want to show you where on the map is this area here. And this area here um, is beautiful pine barrens. And 
they already knocked down a bunch of pine barrens over here. I don't know what they're building. All right. Uh, so it's obvious that the developer that owns this piece of property doesn't really give a shit about the pine barrens, right? Because he's a you know wants to really knock down as much pine barrens as he can on his property. All right. So the first area we're looking at is this. All right. So this is this area here, and uh, you can see it's really just amazingly beautiful. Uh, just going through some pictures here. here. Let me move this down a little. So, it's an amazingly beautiful area. All right, we're going to have to move this over here a little bit. I'm trying to keep this in HD, but the pictures are in 4-3 ratio, so if we could zoom them out a little bit, maybe that'll work. Um, as you see, it's an amazingly beautiful area here. All right, so... Beautiful pines, uh, beautiful pine barren area here. And uh, while this isn't part of the Heartland project, this is not an area that's protected. Uh, so you have a mix of pine barrens, and you also have some grasslands in here as well. Uh, and really is a nice site. And you also have a lot of nice goldenrod. I saw a lot of butterflies here in this site as well. Um, so this is an area I'm concerned about, and I'm worried it's going to get developed. Uh, it should be protected, and it should be added to the Edgewood Preserve, but I don't think it is. Um, but without further ado, yeah, look at that goldenrod. That's, uh, that's this other site here. You can see there's a little butterfly on there. So anyway, without further ado, let me go to the Pilgrim site and the areas that are going to be lost under this development plan. Okay. So, this is the... This isn't the... DU3, I think it's part of the DU3 development. All right, so there's some nice, some nice trails here on the Pilgrim site. Uh, you can see really nice pine pine barrens. Uh, there's some litter around, but there's beautiful pine barrens all around through here. Beautiful trails. And we're going to lose all this. Um, you know, we're going to lose all of this due to the development and, and all the traffic it's going to create and all the people it's going to bring into this area that's really nice and peaceful. All right, so here we are on the DU1 part of it. So let me move this over a little more, all right? This is this is where, this is the part that's been approved already, uh, though um, there is now, uh, it's been approved by Islip Town. However, um, some towns around the town, like Huntington, are, are objecting to it. So they could still stop it. I know there's some lawsuits going on. And I hope they can succeed in blocking this project. So you can see you have these nice open grasslands here uh, on the Pilgrim site. Mix of pine barrens over here. And here is the site now. They, they remember that water tower? Well, there it is. This is a nice, huge area of grass, open space here. Um, that's all going to be filled with concrete and buildings. All right? You can see here, that's the water tower right there. Now keep that water tower in mind. Let's go to go over to it. I think I got a little closer to it here. So there we go. All right, keep that water tower in mind because when I go to this, you'll see. All right, you see all the nice grass surrounding this water tower and stuff. You see all the nice grass and uh, and the pine, the pitch pines over here. Some other trees, maybe some oaks. Um, keep that water tower in mind because now when we go to this document, you'll see. But now surrounds it if this project gets its oldest buildings. And all upscale stuff for, for upper upper class people, you know. Uh, this is it's all gonna be gone and it's gonna be replaced by this. Uh, like I said, they want to turn it into like a mini city. Alright, so let's go back to the pictures. Alright, so then this is a huge grass area. I mean it's huge. I walked in it, it's huge. Literally, so imagine the effect this is going to have on the environment when you take all this grass and you replace it with concrete. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be terrible for the water quality. That alone should stop the project right there. All right. So you can see here just how beautiful this is like a road that's not open, but uh, it's just beautiful um, pine barrens all around here. And it's just a beautiful, this would be a great state park. And that's what I think needs to be done with this property. So, you see that we got beautiful pine barrel. Let me move this down a little bit. 
It's hard because I'm trying to use the HD aspect for this video. The pictures are in 4 3 ratio. Uh, so there you go. So it's it's a beautiful, beautiful spot, and I'll just leave it. Yeah, I like this picture right here. This would be a great state park, and this is what was done with the Kings Park Psychiatric Center, and I think that this project, this Heartland Town Square, let's go back to this for a minute. This project should be killed right now. And I think the governor of New York State, who I am going to write over this, Governor Cuomo, who uh, I have not, have not been thrilled with, obviously, but I think he needs to step in and the state needs to purchase this property back from the developer and turn it into a state park. That's what I think needs to happen. And uh, I think that the operations, the operations and the buildings that are still, uh, let's go back to the Google Maps here for a minute. So let's go back over here. I think that the operations in the, in the buildings that are still in use need to be kept. So this would all be a state park over here. I think this needs to be a state park. All of this needs to be a state park. Uh, and then this little area right here, where there are still buildings to serve, you know, the mentally ill, needs to be kept as, as the campus. Because we, we, need, we, need to be, we need to preserve the services for the mentally ill in the state. Unfortunately, our governor has not done a great job at that. So um, that's been my opinion on this whole situation with Pilgrim. Uh, if you live on Long Island, even if you don't, Contact the governor, contact your elected officials, tell them that Heartland Town Square must be killed. Uh, it is going to be a terrible, devastating project to the environment. It has no place in this area whatsoever, and I think this would be the perfect candidate for a state park. This development would be an absolutely huge, colossal mistake and a devastating blow to the Pine Barrens in this area. Thank you for watching.